Hello guys. Um, so I am um, uh, Dr. Piyush Harsh. Uh, I'm a senior researcher at ICC lab um, at uh, Zurich University of Applied Sciences. And um, in last uh, couple of days, um, um, I found some uh, free time. Uh, uh, so I decided to do something interesting. And what I am trying to create is uh, an Internet of Things um, simulation tool um, where people can uh, plug in their um, custom data generation models and um, data transmission um, and you know uh, uh, bit error rates uh, depending on signal to noise ratio um, stuff like that so um, this video is just to give you uh, a sneak uh, preview of uh, what I have been um, doing since last uh, couple of days. Um, I will keep on improving the code um, as and when I find time and I will release the code um, um, as open source in GitHub. So uh, stay tuned. Um, so here what you can see is the uh, uh, the Java IDE um, uh, with the code uh, that I that I was writing yesterday. So let me just um, execute it and, and show you uh, how it looks. So now I have my terminal window open and I will go to the um, the directory where my code is um, is located. And as you can see, it's a it's a Maven uh, project. So um, I'm just going to do a, a Maven clean just to make sure um, uh, I start from a blank slate, and um, then I'm going to do a, a, a packaging um, where all the dependencies are packaged into one jar. So it's a pretty um, lightweight code, and as you can see, um, the compilation process and build process was pretty um, uh, fast. So let me execute um, um, the tool um, as it stands today. So this is just keep in mind that this is not the the final product. So uh, when I la launch this um, jar, this is what the uh, the toolkit um, UI looks like. A um, uh, lot of parameters are configurable. You can configure the background image. You can configure um, the uh, the the sensors deployment um, strategy. So um, for for those of you who are familiar um, uh, with with India, would you know immediately know that the background image uh, shows the uh, the topological map of uh, area surrounding uh, mumbai in india uh, you know aside that um, what what this shows is basically uh, a simulated geographical area and what i have done here is i have uh, told uh, the program to randomly select the the geolocation to deploy the sensors and uh, I have asked the the code to generate around 100, 100 sensors, and those sensors you see um, in this uh, application as uh, tiny um, square dots uh, spread, you know, here and there. Now, typically, when you deploy a, a sensor um, network for um, you know uh, collecting data. Um, depending on the type of sensor there is, um, whether it is a, a powerful sensor uh, with always on connectivity and you know uh, sensors connected to a power outlet, so there is no power constraint. Uh, but you know uh, more often there would be sensors which which are which are heavily uh, power constrained and would uh, uh, try to minimize um, power use. Um, so. One way um, that you could imagine a sensor would be that it would uh, sense um, whatever it is trying to sense. Uh, 
um, store the data into the the small amount of uh, data store uh, it has built in and um, the, the 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 data offloading which 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 is needed to move the data from the sensor onto the the central repository uh, where data analysis will take place um, um, requires that that the sensor communicates with the with the collector uh, process and um, it would not do it all the time because that wastes power so um, you know ideally the sensors would uh, go on creating um, uh, autonomously uh, a sensor network uh, setting up um, uh, you know um, viable routes and then using that route send data um, uh, through uh, you know uh, neighbor uh, transmission to a central data collection point uh, that also makes the sensor a bit more complicated because um, then the sensor has to have the distributed logic um, and distributed algorithm to build the the, the, the routes, uh, neighbor discovery and stuff like that. So here I'm assuming that the sensor is a very dumb sensor, very lightweight, uh, so that it, it, it minimizes uh, its, its power usage. And it only offloads the data it has uh, when a collection agent is nearby. Um, you can imagine this in a scenario where in a, in, in a city sensors have been deployed um, over uh, different parts of the city and then there is uh, uh, a Wi-Fi hotspot mounted on top of a mobile van and the van then drives through the streets of the city and then whenever a sensor is in the range of the mobile hotspot coverage, coverage area it would um, offload the data. This I have uh, tried to simulate using um, uh, this um, bigger square uh, where the the round circle around it um, basically denotes the, the Wi-Fi coverage area. Uh, and let me move this um, um, dot um, across the screen. So uh, you can imagine this uh, being like the collection ban moving in the city through these streets. Now, you know, the, the sensors that are deployed are uh, dark in color, which means that um, their data offload capability is, um, is turned off. But as soon as um, the device, uh, the collection vehicle uh, approaches a sensor, uh, as soon as it, it becomes in the coverage area, it transitions in the screen right now from uh, a black uh, spec to uh, a yellow spec, which means that the data transmission uh, capability is activated. Um, the, the, the sensor sensed that the collection vehicle is, is close by. and um, it would start to offload data to the collection vehicle. Now, depending on how close or how far the collection vehicle is from the sensor node, um, the transmission uh, process uh, would have, you know, signal to noise ratio um, that would translate to a certain um, a bit error rate. So what I have tried to do here is to um, somehow model that by saying that um, if the sensor is within uh, the uh, the the outer coverage area, uh, then there are then there is a particular um, uh, error model uh, to to follow. But as and when the vehicle comes closer, and now you see the, the sensor has become green, which means that the sensor is in within the the strong signal zone of the collection vehicle and, and then the bit error rate in data transmission would go down and so there would be less less um, uh, transmission errors. So, um, and you know, when the vehicle moves out, the sensor gets deactivated and then the, the offloading process stops and then it, you know, um, uh, goes into the low power state. So this is um, what I have been trying to do in the last couple of days. This is still, um, you know, uh, a work in progress. Um, I will actually add the the interfaces and a couple of implementation of uh, data uh, uh, generation and data offloading um, uh, in this tool. So look forward to to uh, seeing this tool, you know, being released as open source. Um, uh, in next uh, a few days um, and uh, as and when I get time I will keep on improving the 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 back end uh, of this tool uh, to enable scientists and researchers um, doing uh, IoT uh, based research to plug and play their data generation model their bit error um, rate simulation data collection data offloading process so um, 
that's all for today stay tuned for more um, hopefully within the next couple of days you will um, get this tool um, released now bye